but I'm wondering if you watched the finish and if you regret landing that extra punch when he was out because it was clear that he was, you know, he was out and, and, and you hit him with that extra punch. Do you, do you regret that or is it hard to pull back in the heat of the moment? I was, I was engaged, so there was not, I don't even know what happened, you know. I just threw a punch and then <laughs> that's happened. <laughs> and I, I was already engaged, but I didn't, had, uh, I didn't have time to see that he's like uh, out. Knockouts is a quite common way to end the fight in our beloved sport. Oftentimes we are used to more or less the same scenario. Good shot, wobble, knockdown and a finish. But today we are going to go over the cases when just one single crushing attack was enough to earn a spectacular victory. Please don't forget about the likes, comments with four words and subscribe to the channel. Here we go. Number 25. Michael Chandler vs Patricky Freire We would like to start our compilation today with a guy who is already all out against the notorious Irishman in the new season of The Ultimate Fighter Show. By June of 2016, Michael Chandler had a record of 14-3 and was looking to conquer the vacant lightweight championship in Bellator. The co-main event at the 157th tournament happened to be a spectacle. The Iron One needed only 2 minutes and 14 seconds and one precise shot. But there is another thing that's interesting. It is a concept of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. But in the octagon, as Chandler threw such a hard strike that the Brazilian's body most likely transitioned to a parallel universe. Number 24, Michael Nunn vs Sumbu Kalambe. Next, we have a fight from the boxing world. In March of 1989, a former American champion in multiple weight classes, Michael Nunn, faced the Italian of the Congolese descent, Sumbu Kalambe. According to the information from Open Access, athletes spend 88 seconds on that fight, but here's a particular sequence of the action. As you can see, the Italian decided to attack the opponent but got caught with a slicing counter. What a brutal scene! Such swings can fold rails in half and this guy was only allowed in the professional sport. Number 23, Conor McGregor vs Paddy Doherty. Next, we will tell you about a fight featuring the notorious one. Long before worldwide fame, a lot of attention and world titles. In April of 2011, Conor McGregor was about to have his ninth professional fight inside the IFC promotion. His countryman, Paddy Doherty, was given him as an opponent. The future Irish star clearly showed what he was about to do with one of the most dominant champions of the world's best league in just 4 seconds, not being aware of it himself. Just one deft touch from the notorious reached Paddy's chin and the fight was over. With such talents, one could become an astronaut as early as tomorrow, but not like Tito Ortiz. Number 22, Gadzi Navruzov vs Tonike Tolik. Now let's stop at one of the local bare knuckle leagues. In July of 2020, the Russian top dog promotion organized its fourth event, which featured the aforementioned guys. This time, the whole action in the ring did not take more than one round. Assault rifle Gadzi had a brilliant performance and did his job with a signature hook. He masterfully teleported his opponent to the ground and vividly showed him that there are levels to this game. Number 21. Hisaki Kato vs Joe Schilling Now, if you will, we'd like to get back to the mixed style. 
Next, we have an end of the debut fight featuring the Japanese athlete Hisaki Kato. In June of 2015, the prospect signed a contract with the world's second league and went up against the American Joe Schilling. It's known that the bout lasted for the whole first round and 34 seconds in the second one. As we can see, Schilling tried to impose pressure on his opponent, but in vain. One wouldn't envy such Superman punch finishes. It's good that Joe activated his ejection mechanism, which allowed him to survive and get away with a deep knockout. Number 20, Tim Witherspoon vs. Anders Eklund. And again, we take a look at the boxing canvas. In October of 1989, the world saw the rivalry between the American Tim Witherspoon and a Swedish Viking in the face of Anders Eklund. No matter how good you are, there's always a bigger fish. Same thing here, regardless of how durable one's chin is. You already know, the guy spent a bit more than a minute. Witherspoon pulled the Swedish with fast jabs and then immediately put him to sleep with a powerful right. 231 pounds. This one is over. The big right by Witherspoon gets upstairs. Number 19. Marianne Ruzu vs. Ben Schneider Now we suggest you dive into May the 3rd of 2014 and also talk about a rivalry that made waves on the internet and enriched MMA with another highlight. Two heavyweights clashed at the 39th tournament of local UC MMA league, Marianne Ruzu from Romania and Ben Schneider from Wales. To describe this fight, one could resort to saying that is often used in golf. Measure seven times, land once. But Marion went for another option. Simply shoot non-stop and the opponent will fall sooner or later. In the end, it worked. Ben Schneider got caught with a powerful left hook and transitioned to the Shadow Realm three and a half seconds later. Number 18. David Zoltacek vs. Darius Zabinski As you might have noticed, we're going for the second lap and now we meet the bare knuckle league called Gromda. The Polish one this time and with special rules. Fighters fight four two minute rounds and if the winner is not identified after that, they keep going till the knockout happens or one of the fighters surrenders. But in this case, special rules were not needed. Zoltacek delivered one of the best knockouts in the entire industry, coming out on top from a crushing exchange. It would seem like flashy highlights is not a rare thing in fighting, but still, when you see something like that, it gives goosebumps every time. Number 17, Joshua Passio vs. Roy Doliguez. Next, we will witness a vivid title defense from the Philippines representative, Joshua Passio. In November of 2017, he held the belt in the lightest weight class of 1FC and was looking to stand his ground in the fight against Roy Doliguez. Even though it's not the first, but the second round, such a knockout with one touch looks no less impressive and frightening. Quite an unusual fake with a low kick and back fist caused a true commotion on the local crowd, and deservedly so. Number 16, Javante Davis vs. Roland Romero. Now we would like to return to the world of boxing, but the modern era. In May of 2022, Javante Davis met Roly Romero in the fight with a lightweight title at stake. Oddly enough, one could see a strong association with a cartoon. When a character gets hit with as powerful of a blow, they start to see stars in front of their eyes, just like Roly Romero. Just a single touch of death from Javante put this rivalry to rest. And this fight, he's not the There's a big left hand, and down goes Romero! That's it! No more! 
Number 15. Kapitan Pechundi vs Pechtonong Pechfergus On September of 18th of 2020, there was a Muay Thai fight that is hard to pronounce. Back then in Bangkok, the local star in the face of Kapitan shined in the center of the octagon once again. Ladies and gentlemen, before your eyes, you will see a mini version of Francis Ngannou, and it's not even needed to specify why so, as the outcome of this fight speaks for itself. Just six seconds and a deep dive into the backyard of subconsciousness. It's hard to describe the action better than the commentator. 12 bouts and 86. Oh, the big cutback! It's good! Nine freaking Irene! One punch from Capitan! One punch from Capitan! Number 14. Lenrush Akopian vs. Samut Abdiramanov. Now let's take a look at a bare knuckle league. Hardcore FC. In the end of June of last year, Leko and Kyrgyz clashed at another tournament. If you were suffering from insomnia in recent times and didn't know where to get help, there he is, the Kyrgyzstan representative at your service, who closer to the end of the fourth round slapped his opponent with a whipping right hook counter. But there also could be a side effect in the form of short memory loss. But that's a whole different story. Number 13. Ricky Yat vs. Yannick Mazepov In 2019, the 11th tournament of the Raged UC MMA featured an amateur fight that aspires to be the shortest one in the history of the sport. Two Englishmen collided in the cage, Ricky Yat in the black trunks and Yannick Mazepov in white. As soon as the bell rang, the latter improvidently threw a front kick, to which Ricky reacted instantly. People say that Yannick couldn't fully recover after this, and no wonder, not even every suspenseful movie had such an ending. Number 12. Deontay Wilder vs Malik Scott In March of 2014, a yet undefeated and terrifying Deontay Wilder had his 31st boxing bout as he shared the ring with Malik Scott. All in all, this fight once again demonstrated that one should not mess with Deontay. That's what your relatives mean when they advise you to wear a hat when you go outside. At first, it might seem that the cause of a knockout was 1-2, but in reality, Wilder needed only one left hand to dispatch Malik Scott. Scott looking at your left hand coming up the middle, coming up the middle, coming up the middle. And eventually he's going to come around the side, he's going to look to the side and the right hand's going to sneak up on him down the middle. Extraordinary! <laughs> Number 11. Ray Sefo vs Jerome Lebana It couldn't go without the legendary K1. The next matchup in line took place in 1997 with a heavyweight title at stake. Overall, the New Zealander needed only one and a half minutes to fold the Frenchman in half and earn another victory by a spectacular knockout. Even Adesanya's frozen like Elsa thing is not a match to this. It's more of a decapitation. <laughs> Number 10. Brendan Vera vs Mauro Cirilli As strange as it may sound, but the top 10 starts with a rivalry that happened in November of 2018 in the same 1FC organization. At that moment, the Filipino in the face of Brandon was about to have the second title defense after a two-year long layoff. If physics from the console game UFC 4 had an equivalent in reality, only this kind of outcome could await you or your opponent. The one you can see on this footage. The champion needed a bit more than a minute to stop the contender with a counter left. Number 9. Mike Tyson vs Michael Spinks and we would like to conclude today's boxing section with a fight that took place in 1988. Back then, a 21-year-old legendary and as always Iron Mike Tyson was about to have his seventh title defense against the number one contender Michael Spinks. To give you a vivid perception of this fight, 
it would be enough to quote the most popular comment under this bout. Paid 40 bucks for this fight and missed everything, all because I went to the kitchen to grab some beer. And that's true. Mike got done with his vis-a-vis -vis in just 90 seconds. But the craziest thing here is that Mike became the first one who managed to drop Spinks in his professional career and at such a young age. Number 8. Bakal Paul Pramok vs Hiroki Shishido On September the 4th, 2006, the scariest Muay Thai fighter or simply the great Bakal Banchamek demonstrated one of the fastest finishes in his entire career. At K1 World Max, he shed the ring with the Japanese Hiroki Shishido. One thing can be said for certain here, with no exaggeration, everybody at the arena unlocked a new achievement. Now they can see the thrust rolls from Harry Potter, because a real murder was committed in front of their eyes. A single left hook, 15 seconds, and we move on. Number 7. Sam Shoemaker vs Eric Prindle In 2019, there was a bare-knuckle fight that made a lot of noise in the media because of what happened in the fight between Sam Shoemaker and Eric Prindle. After watching such performances, it's only left to be grateful for simple things in everyday life. For example, the opportunity to eat without a feeding tube because that's exactly what awaited Eric Prindle after such a vicious one-punch knockout from Shoemaker. Tell you, man. Oh, he's Here's out. right hands. That might be game set match if it is. Whoa. A one punch knockout win for Sam Shoemaker. One hit a quitter, baby. <laughs> there are knockouts, and then there are knockouts. <laughs> hey, that was Number six Terry Davini versus Matt Van Bruen. The closer we get to the finale, the more interesting it gets. At the next spot, we have a fight that ended in the exact same way as the previous two. What can be better than a furious rivalry saturated with competitive spirit and heavy shots? Well, anything to be fair, you think Van Buren liked it? Highly unlikely. Terry Davini slept him in just 15 seconds and didn't shy away from adding some more. Let's be honest, it wasn't necessary. Number 5. Francis Ngannou vs Alistair Overeem We will start our top 5 with almost a tragedy. In December of 2017, the main predator of the UFC came out to fight Alistair Overeem. It happened at the 218th event. As soon as the fighters collided in the center of the octagon, Overeem figured everything out at the very last moment. With such an opponent, even the strictest diet with the favorite horse meat wouldn't be enough. Francis made history almost decapitating his vis-a-vis -vis with a flying uppercut straight from hell. With a gun! Number 4. Conor McGregor vs Jose Aldo As we touch on the world's best league, let's stay here for a little bit longer. Considering that one of the fighters has already appeared in our compilation, on December 12th of 2015, the prime Irish phenom had a title fight with the King of Rio, the Brazilian Nightmare. You already know what it is, McGregor took the bigger part of Aldo's chin already prior to the tournament. The rest was taken by the signature left hand straight from the heart of Dublin. 13 seconds in total. Number 3. Alain Ganali vs Hideki Sakin 
Now we will end the circle dedicated to rivalries in one FC. In September of 2017, the world witnessed a matchup straight from the heavyweight. The guy who is almost a bodybuilder faced the Japanese Hideki Sakine. Do you think it's hard to be impressed after everything you've seen? What are you going to say about the fight that had an alternate outcome between Habib Nurmagomedov and Artem Lobov, where the latter did not restrain himself and let his inner beast all out? Exactly. That's what Galani did by finishing his opponent in just 11 seconds with a powerful right hook. Number 2. Yuli Diaz vs Donieli Benedetto Next fight we have ended on an extremely high note. On November the 13th of 2020, the whole world witnessed the world record. Don't believe it? Take a look yourself! For those who didn't get it, here you can see officially the fastest… Wait, it's all over already? Please rewind. Just one shot from the monster separated his opponent from consciousness. It seemed like the ring announcer couldn't even spell the fighters' names. That's how lightning fast this fight ended. Insane. Round number one, there's that fast start! That might be it! And that is the fastest knockout in Billy of the Boy in championship history. Didn't even get a chance to get that fight started right there. Came right out with a big punch, just like he said. Trying to figure out what's going on, I think. Number 1. And to give you a cherry on top, we present you the vivid finale in the form of a knockout for the guy who thought that he was the Capoeira master in the face of Eddie Gordo from Tekken 5. It's sad that he couldn't finish his dance. Which of the aforementioned knockouts did you like the most? Leave your opinion in the comments below. Don't forget about the like and subscribe buttons as it's the best appreciation for the content that we try to entertain you with on a regular basis. See you soon!